Every organism is exposed to substances that can cause harm to its body. Organisms protect themselves in many ways, including physical barriers and chemical neutralizers. Vertebrate animals have an advanced protective immune system consisting of a complex network of organs that contain cells used to recognize and destroy pathogens in the body. There are two types of immunity, adaptive and innate. Innate immunity is a natural immune defense that all animals possess and it can be classified as external or internal. External innate defenses include barrier defenses, which can be physical, chemical, or mechanical. A physical barrier would be the skin, which functions to keep foreign objects outside of the body. The mucus found in body openings constitutes a chemical defense, and the movement of foreign objects out of the body through ciliary action or coughing and sneezing are examples of mechanical defense. Defensive cells of the internal innate immune system are activated if a pathogen passes the external barriers. A very broad range of pathogens is recognized by the innate immunity, and the response is non-specific. The macrophage is an example of a non-specific immune cell. Macrophages, in addition to engulfing foreign cells and destroying them by the process of phagocytosis, also release cytokines. These chemicals induce an inflammatory reaction in the body to inhibit the growth of pathogens and prevent the infection of tissues. Cells of the innate immune system also release chemicals that recruit cells of the adaptive immune system to the site of infection. Adaptive immunity is activated after the innate immune response begins, and it develops more slowly, providing a last line of defense. The adaptive immune system mounts a response that is specific to the pathogen via specialized white blood cells known as lymphocytes. Lymphocytes of the B and T cell lineages must be primed by exposure to a foreign molecule or antigen before they can function. B cells have receptors on the surface that recognize molecular structures on the surface of pathogens. Once a B cell receptor binds an antigen, the B cell releases antibodies that are specific to that same antigen. Once the antibody binds its antigen, it makes it easier for macrophages to recognize the pathogen, resulting in its destruction. T cells, like B cells, also have a receptor that recognizes antigens. However, these are presented to the T cells by cells that have been infected. So unlike B cells that are effective against extracellular pathogens, such as most bacteria, T cells are most effective against intracellular pathogens, such as viruses. Note that unlike the innate response, which is non-adaptive and non-specific, the adaptive immune response is stronger and faster upon repeated exposure to the same pathogen due to the generation of memory cells during an immune response. When you get a vaccine, you're introducing certain antigens, say viral proteins, into your body to build an immune response. That way, when your body encounters the actual virus, it'll be ready to fight it off and you won't get sick.